What is going on everyone? It is your good friend Chance. I know it's a little windy out here, uh, so I'll, I'll try to turn the volume down a little bit and then not say too much until we get inside. I do want to say this is one of the many tours that we have on the channel. So if you enjoy content like this, you want to be, to, be sure to subscribe uh, and hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when we post other videos. And then all that we ask is if you will, if you will hit that like button for us, that really, really helps us out a lot. And I'd appreciate you taking the time to do that. Just smash that like button. Notice all the different exterior siding that we have. I am in Freedom Homes in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Got me jumping over fences. I tell you the stuff I do for y'all. So this is a uh, show model. Basically, they'll order off of this home. Uh, that's why you can tell the tongues and everything are still sticking out. here we've seen all this let's head on into this one now one unique thing about this home actually i'll just talk about it as soon as we get in real nice front door let's go so one really unique thing about this home is that it does not have drywall and I know, like, I know most of you really, really like that. Um, but I want you to, I want you to really watch this video and then we'll talk about pricing and stuff towards the end and see some of the difference in pricing you get just by not having full sheetrock. And then some of you, you know, this is perfectly what you need. Where I'm from in Mississippi, Mississippi, we sell a lot of homes like this, you know, just board and back, basically no uh, sheet, not not full sheetrock textured or whatever you want to call it. Um, we, I mean, this is, you know, this is just, I mean, a lot of it's the price point, obviously. But I mean, when you got a house that's as nice as this one, and you see what you're going to be able to get it for. Uh, I think you'll I think you'll understand why. So we'll come in here to our uh, dining area. They have this home staged wonderfully, perfectly, beautifully. Nice thermal pane windows that this home has in it. One cool thing that we can look at right here, we can also see that you can get this home in a four and a five bedroom version. If you would like to maybe screenshot that or something, I'll give you the opportunity to do that. But beautiful kitchen. We gotta get to these drawers. Look at it, look at this, this is nice. I love those really big deep drawers like that. Just. I mean, you can you can store a lot of stuff in there. You can put some stuff in there now. When I see a home like this, now I don't. I mean, you could you could definitely take this home, and this could be your forever home. It's it's really really nice. But those of you that you know maybe 
want second homes and stuff like that in different places, but you don't want to spend a pile of money, this is something that would be perfect for that. Something that you're not going to live in all the time. But I don't know. Like I said, where I'm from, we sell homes like this for forever homes all the time. So it's really, it just depends on where you're at, you know, what you're looking to do. I should I should have had this door closed so y'all didn't even know what was in there. Look at that. Hmm. Wonder what's in behind this barn door. Remember that video of that starter home where I didn't open that barn door? Well, I'm making up for it right now. Oh, what's behind here? <gasps> oh, it's a pear tree. <laughs> Dude, they got it set up nice. Swiss rolls. Hold up. Butter mix. What? Goldfish. Goodness. Cheese great. <laughs> they have all the necessities in there. Okay. Let's go back here. Check out these rooms. What's over here to your right? Oh, this. Did someone say, well, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Really good spot right here for your dog kennel. That's what they're trying to imply to set up. But I think you could have you a freezer or whatever. You know, some uh, you got coat hangers right there. You got This is the back door that we looked at. I like it's got a little counter in here. Spot for your washer and dryer. Beautiful. Beautifully set up. Here is your breaker box. Sometimes I feel like I should try to work on being a little more professional. So let's just give that one shot right here and just see how it goes. Okay, here we go. So as you come across here, you will flow into this guest bathroom. Now you'll notice this guest bathroom has two sinks, which makes it double sinks. So, or you could say double vanities, whatever you'd like to say. We have two mirrors right up here up top. We've got one, two, that's two, two. Oh, what is that? Two more. Okay, I can't <laughs> anymore. <laughs> I don't know why that, that didn't sound professional at all. So that's the problem when I try to sound professional. It's, it's awful. And you notice right here, this is our shower tub combo. Now what's great about this is that you can take a shower in here and you could also have a bath in here. That's why it's called a shower tub combo. <laughs> oh gosh. See, I can act a fool because a lot of y'all don't really know me. So, but I'm afraid like some people that know me, know, have known me my whole life are watching this video right now. They're like, this guy, he's freaking went off the deep end, boys. And a lot of times speaking on like the born batten, and, and don't hold me to this because I really have no idea, but I do know some manufacturers, you can get a house like this in full drywall if you want. Now, I mean, you're looking at a good bit price increase. I would say five, six, seven thousand $7,000 just ballpark and don't really know that exact, but you could get it complete drywall if you do that. Maybe more, maybe less, and maybe you couldn't even get it in this particular floor plan. So I don't know that for sure. But like, if you're like, man, I love the layout of this house. I love everything about it. I just wish it was full drywall. I think that could be an option. There's your furnace. Y'all know, y'all know that I go all over video and all types of manufacturers, all my, all types of models and stuff. So I can't speak for uh, every manufacturer exactly, but all in all, I think that's definitely an option. So then we come back here. Got this little area right here. Grab you a book before you head off to bed. Had to start over. Had to get my light turned on. Y'all know. I can't remember. I wish I could remember the first person I seen that made that comment about, about using your light on your camera. But, I mean, you, you have made my life in these videos so so much better
Check out this closet. Ooh, got the little red dress and the little black dress. So this is a good size walk-in closet. I think you could have more shelves below if you would like. Really, really nice bath. So I see, I see the mistress sink, but uh, where, where's the mister? Mister? Uh oh. Uh oh. Looks like you're gonna have to go down to the guest bath. She done claim both these. So, double sinks, really, really nice. Notice this down here. Get that window in between the two mirrors. Got you some towel hangers. Got you a little sitting area. This is where you can sit and, uh, you know, just think about whatever. This could be a really good prayer area. Look, and then there is a Bible verse. How fitting. I'm telling you what. Notice there's probably different floor covering options, but this is what they went with in here. And then here we have the famous uh, well, all I know is a toilet. I don't know another name for it. Now, I want to show you this. Still got my light on, so just that's what that light is. So, in case you just so you know, this is a walk in shower with a really nice door. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of tile showers, I have to say. I have to be completely honest here. Big fan of the tile showers. I would probably have to upgrade this to a tile shower. But that is nice. The good thing about it is it's good size. Really good size. Let me step back here. It's not tiny like for somebody that's, you know, rather tall, be hard to get in. Okay, let's go in here and wrap this video up. Well, I hope you have enjoyed another one of our tours. Uh, my name is Chance, by the way, if this is your first time viewing us. We travel all over, video all types of homes. So you're gonna wanna subscribe, see some of the other great stuff that we have coming, and we have some fantastic homes already on the channel. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Be sure to like this video, if you will. It helps us out tremendously, if you would mind doing that. Um, don't forget to scroll down and sh and share this video with someone that you think would enjoy um and yeah now let's talk about the pricing that i was want to get to so before we get into that price i do want to say if you want more information on the home that we just toured you can find that down in the description below and then also check out our website link that's in the description as well and that can give you more information on the home that we just toured or any home that you see on the channel so be sure to check out the website for more information and while you're in the description if you have not click on over links in the description to our second channel and subscribe to that channel if you would and watch some of the videos there it's called camper masters it's me and my brother clay we're going around doing like this like this channel so for touring campers rvs motorhomes and stuff like that a lot of cool stuff that we shot in places that we plan to go real soon as well now as we talk about this price i do want to stress that the pricing that I'm gonna be able to give you is from Freedom Homes of Tulsa. This is information they've just been able to provide to me to provide to you guys. But with that being said, depending on exactly where you're at, I know we get views from all over, so there could be other factors that are implied depending on how far you are from a certain dealership, how far you are from a manufacturer, how, you know, what kind of county regulations you may have that are not factored in here as well. So all those factors have to be considered. I know that most everyone knows that, but I do want to stress for new viewers that are watching the channel. And if you're a new viewer and you're stuck around to this song, hey, I appreciate you. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. But you're going to be seeing that price come across the screen. And what about that? I mean, that's a really, really low price. 
with delivery and setup and everything for a double wide like that. I think it's crazy. And you know, I just hope this house, you know, I, I know most of the stuff that we tour are really, really high end, uh, expensive, just loaded out homes, which I, I like doing that for sure. It's a lot of fun, but then I like to throw in something like this. It's really nice, but the price is a lot lower. So with that being said, I hope you have enjoyed another tour. We're posting three times a week on this channel. All the videos come out at the same time, 645 Central Standard Time. And with that being said, if you are a subscriber and you have the bell notif notification on, as soon as the video comes out, you will get a notification. So that's why it's important to hit that notification bell. Thank you for watching. I hope every one of y'all have a blessed day. If it's late at night, I hope you have a wonderful night. And uh, I will see y'all on the next one.